Good, wonderful, beautiful afternoon. Not only afternoon, it's almost evening. Oh, excuse you. Excuse you. It's almost evening. We've been doing a lot of running around already today. <laughs> so part of my plan for today was to start working in the kitchen. But I had a bunch of stuff I had to get done on my computer and then my mom came over and apparently we really are getting a new couch. We went and we looked again and we did some measuring and Tuesday we're getting a new couch. So you're getting a new couch, Shelby. What do you think of that? You, th you think you'll like it? I hope you'll like it. I liked it. It's definitely not going to be that color anymore. But this couch is going to go in the basement so we're not actually getting rid of it. We'll just get a new one. What do you think of that? We're going to get a new couch. But I had to show you guys what's going on. It was 52 degrees today, which is kind of crazy. It has been literally pouring rain all day. I don't know if you can actually tell in the camera, but quite a bit of our snow has melted. I guess you can, you can see the neighbor's grass. Quite a bit of snow has melted, and tonight it is supposed to drop down to 18 degrees. Which means Pretty much all of that water that is sitting out there is going to freeze. All of the water sitting on top of the snow is going to freeze. Which means slippery backyard for the dogs and icy roads. So things around here are going to get interesting. <laughs> Good, wonderful, beautiful morning party. Look at this sleepy girl. She's like, I'm so comfy. I'm so comfy. <laughs> Uh, so I'm gonna tell everybody what's going on say oh my gosh guys all the snow not all the snow But the majority of the snow melted yesterday. It was 50 degrees outside And then today it started to snow again and all the stuff that melted refroze. so now we have ice everywhere the whole backyard Let me show you the yard Somebody found a frozen apple you can definitely tell right there under the snow. That's all ice So there's like this sheet of ice underneath everything so yeah, it got really, really warm for a whole day. And it literally, I mean, we had a good base pack of snow and it, and, and it rained. So it like melted everything and then it rained and now it's just icy. And Jamie and I have to go run around and do a few things. Do you think the roads are gonna be bad? Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, we don't have to be gone long, but we're gonna go Check out, and it's so windy. I'm staring past you guys, looking outside and watching that snow blow around. All right, let's go get our errands done. We are gonna keep an eye on you on the phone. You guys wanna see her incision? Ready? Okay, if you're squeamish, look away. There it is, it actually looks really good. That one looks really good. The one on her side looks really good. Okay, if you're squeamish, you can look back. Mm -hmm. No, it doesn't look bad, and she hasn't been itching it. We've been leaving the bells on her just so we can hear her if she does. But I'm just going to open up my phone while Jamie and I are gone and we're going to listen to her. We can yell at her through the phone. Yeah, get, but get she, some fuel for the snowblower. Yeah, right? Got to get that snow taken care of. Mm -hmm. All right, you girls be good. We'll only be gone like maybe 30 minutes. Yeah, we'll be, be back. <laughs> so we're at the gas station right now and Jamie is pumping gas. So this is what I do. I load this up when we leave and see we can see Shelby and I can talk to the dogs through this. So if she decides to scratch, we can just hit the talk button and tell her not to and she's pretty good at listening to us so since we're only going to be gone a little bit we're just doing this to keep an eye on her that's pretty much what the dogs do when we're not home they just sleep you did good i watched you the whole time we were gone and you didn't kick yourself one time in fact you slept the entire time we were gone good job girls mm -hmm. good job thanks for letting us get the mail yeah we had to go get the mail how do you know that mail's for you yeah. you're like we just know you want to go outside now? All right, let's go outside. Let's go outside. So probably the worst thing about the uh, snow and then the thaw and then the snow, don't slip, don't run. Oakley already knows. She's like, I can't run, guys. Don't run. Yeah, there's an apple. <laughs> we have to watch them and make sure they don't fall because it is slippery. Don't run. <laughs> uh. So we got a new light fixture for the kitchen because the one we had was old and outdated and not very bright. That was the other issue we were having with it while we were cooking. I mean, it's brighter now that this is gone, but this is the cool globe light thing that we got. And it, well, it has three bulbs instead of the one that we currently have that has only two. So Jamie's gonna go ahead and put it up and we're gonna see what it looks like. Mm. Always remember kids, before playing with electricity, shut the breakers off. <laughs> uh. 
I figured we better let everybody know we did that. Yeah. We don't want Jamie to get electrocuted. That won't be fun. Mm -hmm. It'd be shocking. It would be shocking. A very shocking experience. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we got the light up and we got it on. But I'm gonna show you guys why I'm not happy with it. I don't know if I can. Yeah, you'll be able to see with the camera. You can see up above, you can see the bulbs sticking out of the top of it. And those are normal sized bulbs and that's what it says to put in it. I mean, we could put smaller bulbs in it, but then. No, I mean. That just seems stupid. Realistically, it'd have to be eight feet higher. Yeah, and then you wouldn't see it. see it. Or <sighs> you'd have to be four feet closer. Yeah. So I don't know. I, I really like the way it looks in the camera. It just looks black. There we go. Yeah. I like the way it looks in the kitchen. I think it looks really nice, but I think I'm going to have to return it. You know, they have a similar one at Home Depot. Do you want to just leave this one up and then on my way back from my meeting, I'll just grab the one they have at Home Depot? Okay. It's bronze on the outside, but bronze wouldn't look bad because yeah, they've got brown so, cabinets. Yeah. yeah. I was so excited. I looked for these lights for forever. Literally forever. <laughs> All right. I didn't want the LED lights that don't have replaceable bulbs. Because for one, you can't change the, if you want 60 watt bulbs or 40 watt bulbs or 100 watt bulbs. So I really didn't want those. And it seems like a lot of places now, that's all they're selling. Like in stock, Home Depot only has three kitchen type lights that actually use regular bulbs. So I did a lot of searching. I found these on Amazon and I really, really liked them. I liked the dome. I liked that the dome was white and not yellow. But the, I keep looking over there and the fact that I could see the light bulb sticking out the top. I don't like that. Does that make me picky? Does that does that make me a pain in the butt? You can push them probably down, bend them a little. Mm. I don't know. What do you think, Shelby? Shelby's like, I'm just helping. I'm holding this chair right here right. so Daddy don't Inside. fall. <laughs> Why don't I take this globe off and then you bend them down? All right, I'll help you with that. Well, Jamie was able to bend them down, and now you can't see you can't see the lights. I think we'll leave it up for a day and then I'll decide. So let's not throw away any of the boxes or anything. <laughs> I do, I like the way it looks. I'm just not sure. It's so different. We've had the same light there for seven years. <laughs> I know. Say, mom, you're being silly. I'm just being silly. I know. I'll, I'll figure out if I like it. Memphis has the frozen apple. That apple, Oakley dug out from way in the back, and it's frozen. Memphis is like, what is this? Can I play with this? <laughs> She's so funny. Can I play with this apple? This is kind of fun. You won't play with a ball, but you'll play with a frozen apple. <laughs> Oakley's back there like, hey, I, I dug that apple out. That's, that's my apple. Are you going to take it back to her? Shelby didn't want to go outside with them. You want to come back inside or are you going to keep playing with the apple? <laughs> Dogs are so funny. Look what I got. I got your apple, Oakley. <laughs> oh, if only they could talk. Oh my goodness. Do you feel like I've been gone for hours? It's because I have been gone for hours. It is now like nighttime. I, I didn't pet any animals. I don't know why you think I petted animals. I didn't. I didn't pet any animals. So I went to a couple meetings today, which I can't talk too much about yet, but eventually I might need you guys' help on a few things that have to do with these meetings. The things I can say is they have to do with animals and helping them. Those are the things I can say. I don't want to say too much because I don't know how many people out there actually watch these that might know what's going on. So all I'm really going to say is I went to two different meetings today and we talked about animals and we talked about what's best for animals. So in the coming future, hopefully I'll be able to fill you guys in some more and you'll be able to help us help a bunch of animals. Does that sound fun? That, that sounds pretty fun. I made the joke that I want to start a foundation, a, uh, so that we can raise money to give to rescues, like actually start a foundation like the Gone to the Snow Dogs Foundation. 
so that you guys could donate money to the foundation and then the foundation would be able to donate that money to rescues because I don't really want to start a rescue <laughs> I have no interest in starting a rescue but I like to raise money to help animals as you guys know and I like a lot of times like when you guys help donate money to Shelby we pay it forward by donating to other animals in need you know either personal pets or you know people that like rescue like the um, Harry Houdini Husky Rescue I didn't pet any animals honey I'm sorry so I made the joke I'm like oh we should start a foundation so that we can do even more but I don't know maybe Maybe something like that will be in the works. Did you miss me? I know that I was gone for like forever and it was craziness and you missed me. I know. Daddy fed you dinner so you didn't miss your dinner. It's all right. You were pretty mad when I walked in the door though, weren't you? <laughs> She's like, Mom, I just want you to sit down so I can sit next to you and take a nap. Is that all you want? Did you hang out in the office with your daddy? I bet you did. I bet you did. Did Greg come over? See, Greg came over, didn't he? He picked up a kennel. Hi, Memphis. He picked up a kennel because his roommate's moving out, so Greg's going to have a lot less cats. I guess he's going to go back to having only his own cats. His roommate's moving out and taking her cats with her. So Greg's going to have a little bit emptier of a house. But you got to see him. I didn't get to see him because I wasn't here. Does that make you less mad? You still look pretty mad. <laughs> you still look pretty needy, too. Okay, I'm going to take my boots off now. Sound like a plan? Sounds like a plan. All right, well after all those crazy meetings, we did a live show. So if you guys caught the live show on Friday, thanks for joining us. That was pretty fun. I hope to start doing more of those with you guys. I did have a lot of fun. Jamie and I both had a lot of fun doing that. I think once we figure out a good setup, we'll be able to do those a little bit more. But look at, these girls are like, out. She's out. She's out. And we all know this one's out. <laughs> she's out. Oh, she's got the little hedgehog today. You stole the little hedgehog, huh? Ugh. All right, you guys, we are going to go ahead and call it a night. I just had a huge sneezing fit. I don't know what the deal with that was, but weird. When the weather changes like this, it always makes my brain go, I don't know what's going on. Uh, so anyway, we're going to go ahead and call it a night. If you guys are new to this channel and you like what you saw, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like this video, and share it with your friends to help us grow the audience. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive. Dream big. And we'll see you again soon. Good night, audience. You know, you've still got like seven days you gotta wear those bells. At least you look really cute wearing them. <laughs>